Today's video is going to be all about fragrances that were a love at first sniff. So if that's your type of thing, then let's get into it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Hayley and I review fragrances. So as I already mentioned in the intro, today's video is going to be all about fragrances that were a love at first sniff. These had me hooked right from the start. So if that's your type of thing, then please do keep on watching. But before I get started on the content, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel if you do not already. I know that only 40% of my watchers actually subscribe to my channel, maybe because my content comes up in the recommendation list. I'm not sure why, but I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It really helps this channel out and I will continue making content like this. So now that's out of the way, let's get started on the first fragrance. The first fragrance is a blind purchase. I have wanted this fragrance for the longest time and when I saw a good deal come up on it I had to purchase it and I was going in blind. I've wanted to try this for the longest time but I couldn't find anywhere to sample it in the UK so I had to go in blind with this one and it is Manakara by Indult. Sorry I didn't even mention the name of the fragrance. Now I was pretty sure that I was going to like this but you never know. You can't always trust the notes but I had seen a couple of reviews in essence this is a rose and lychee fragrance I would say the lychee is a lot more dominant than the rose but you definitely get both of those notes it's sweet it's sugary almost like candied rose petals mixed in with a lychee juice or syrup so so delicious and my favorite lychee fragrance that I have ever smelt it was an absolute love at first sniff from the moment I opened my parcel and I am still in love with it now. I think this is so incredible. As I've already mentioned, it's my favorite lychee fragrance. And yeah, if you are looking for the perfect lychee that's also a combination of rose, this is one that you might want to sample. I had a few comments when I last spoke about this fragrance asking if it smelled similar to Delina and no, not to me. Delina of course has that tart rhubarb note in there and I don't really get much of the lychee whereas this is a true lychee fragrance to me at least. Very, very pretty, very, very feminine and a complete love. I think this is incredible. When I last linked this fragrance, it was sold out everywhere. I will link again, hopefully it comes back in stock, but it is one to sample if you have been on the hunt for the perfect lychee fragrance. Next up is Jardins de Misfa by Unui Nomad. I know I have spoken about this fragrance so much, specifically in 2023, I was so hooked on this. I still am, and this was one of those fragrances that was a complete love at first sniff for me. It was my first Unui Nomad fragrance in my collection and it is still my favorite. This smells like jammy rose, sticky dates, a beautiful creamy almond note and saffron. One of the most delicious rose fragrances within my collection. I find this so intoxicating. It's also very sexy and I just resonate with this fragrance for whatever reason. It does have that Middle Eastern touch to it. You absolutely need to enjoy dates and roses to love this one, but it's syrupy sweet, almost thick and juicy. The rose is jammy, almost sugared and caramelized. The dates are caramelized too. You get a spicy hit from the saffron and then you get a creamy almond touch. I just absolutely adore this fragrance. I'm sure if you watch my videos, you've heard me speak about this so much, so I won't go on for too much longer. But yeah, I highly recommend this fragrance. It was a true love at first sniff for me and I still love it just as much as I did the first time I smelt it. Next up is a newer fragrance to my collection and it is Moon Glory from The Harmonist. This fragrance has me feeling a certain type of way at the moment. It's the fragrance that I've been reaching for the most over the last week. This is going to be perfect for the springtime. Moon Glory smells like the most realistic, honeyed florals. Think honeyed jasmine or honeyed white florals. It is so pretty. The most beautiful fragrance that I have smelt recently. I feel this is very angelic 
and it is one of the most realistic florals in my collection in terms of being a realistic honeyed floral. It reminds me of someone really pretty in a garden, strolling through that garden in some kind of tea dress with florals on it. And she is smelling the flowers around her, putting her nose right up to those florals. It gives me Bridgerton vibes too. And I just think Moon Glory is so, so special. Now it does have a very prominent honey note in here and you have lots of florals, but those florals are sweetened with that honey note. I just think it's really special, really, really magical. And I know I'm going to be wearing this one a lot in the springtime and the summertime. Next up is Black Tie by Celine. And this is one of my more recent purchases. I have wanted to add this one to my collection for the longest time. However, I'd only sampled it once in Harrods and I didn't want to blind purchase a fragrance this expensive without trying it properly on my skin. So I did order a Celine Discovery set. I did some first impressions over on my TikTok and Black Tie was absolutely one of my favorites in the collection. It's a very special vanilla fragrance, but I would say it's one of the classiest vanilla fragrances on the market, totally unisex. It's a powdery vanilla. Oh, it's so incredibly beautiful. It is iris, soft, realistic vanilla, not overly sweet at all. I wouldn't call it a gourmand vanilla in any way. This is definitely an elevated, high-end vanilla. It would suit a formal occasion beautifully. I guess the name Black Tie sums this one up. It almost has a chocolatey vibe to it. I guess that's where the powderiness of the florals come in. This is incredibly chic, as are all Celine fragrances, which makes sense because Celine as a brand is an incredibly chic brand, very minimalist. None of these fragrances from Celine are loud and beast mode. This is more of a subdued vanilla for sure. It's not gonna be loud and in your face, but it is absolutely incredible. If you can get a sample of this one, I would absolutely recommend trying it. It was a love at first sniff. I remember loving it when I tried it in Harrods, but I only tried it on the paper. And I feel like you have to try fragrances on your skin to really know if you truly love it. Sprayed this one on the skin, love at first sniff. I will give it a more detailed review in a future video, but yes, this was a true love at first sniff for me. Next up is Carioca Heart by Juicebox. And I reviewed this one recently in a different video and I gave this one a 10 out of 10. This was a love at first sniff as well. I am really hooked on this fragrance at the moment. I know I'm going to wear this so much in the spring and the summer. And I said, it is one of the best mango fragrances out there, but this is mango and pineapple. It's not a straight up mango fragrance. Mango, juicy pineapple, it's creamy, it's delicious. And if you like fragrances similar to God of Fire by Stefan Humbert Lucas, you will probably love this fragrance. However, this is a lot more creamy. You've got that vanilla in the base too. It's very sweet. And it's just a real love for me right now. Now you might be thinking Mango Kiss by Stefan Humbert Lucas is a creamy mango too. Yes, it is, but I would say Mango Kiss is quite complex. It could be a little bit challenging for some people because it has oud and chamomile, whereas this is a floral mango pineapple with vanilla in the base. Very, very easy to wear, very, very likable, and has an incredible scent trail too. Absolutely loved this from first sniff. So many of you recommended that I try this one, and thank you so much for those recommendations because... Yes, this is a 10 out of 10 and I absolutely love it. The next fragrance is Ruby Red by the House of Oud. I love the House of Oud bottles. I think they are spectacular. And I have wanted this fragrance in my collection for the longest time. I saw a few people reviewing this one, but I couldn't get my hands on it in the UK. It launched a lot earlier in the US for whatever reason. And I ummed and ahed about this one for the longest time because it features a note of tuberose. And typically I don't enjoy tuberose as I note. I do in some fragrances, but not many. But the thing that made me really want to try this was the ginger. It has candied ginger in here. And let me tell you, this was a love at first sniff, despite it featuring tuberose. 
Yes, you get the tuberose, but it's quite a powdery, subdued tuberose, almost the same type that's in Blanche Bette by Liquids Imaginaires. Oh, my voice just broke then. And it's a very milky, creamy, powdery fragrance, but then you get that bite from the ginger. This almost has an ethereal vibe to it. It is a fluffy ginger fragrance, which those two words don't go together fluffy and ginger. Ginger is very tart, it's very sharp, it's very zingy. And then fluffy normally is milky or powdery or a little bit marshmallowy. But the two of those combined, this was a love at first sniff. I still absolutely adore this one. I think this is such a classy fragrance, very ethereal, but at the same time it has an edge to it, likely because of that ginger note. And if you're someone like me that doesn't necessarily love tuberose, but have wanted to try this fragrance, I would recommend sampling it because you might enjoy it like me. But yeah, Ruby Red was a definite love at first sniff and I'm so happy to have this one in my collection. So those were all of the fragrances that I wanted to go over in today's video. Please do let me know if any of them stood out to you and if you do want more in-depth reviews. But what I want to know is, what were some of your love at first sniff fragrances in your collection? Please do let me know down in the comments below. I find the best recommendations in the comments, so please do keep them coming. But thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope to see you in a future video to come. See you soon, thank you and goodbye.